Vina Navarro. The grandson of Esteban is the subject of a murder investigation. A cult figure, Raquel Welch, has flown into CSI Miami in style, guest starring as the notorious Vina Navarro, the wealthy matriarch of the dreaded Navarro family. Well, she's a very wicked character. I've never played anyone quite like her. I'm not going to rest until I put you down a dark hole. I can't wait. This woman is really a piece of work. She is definitely up to no good. With her grandson accused of being a serial killer, Vina has come in to do damage control because all this crime talk has been bad for business. They are, um, for lack of a better terminology, a, a family of serial killers. We discover a young girl who's 19 years old who has all the signature marks of one of their victims. And before we can get started, with our investigation, the true matriarch of the family arrives in her helicopter. But I own this land, almost a thousand acres to be exact. I have every right to be here. Not only are they dangerous and sick, they're also very wealthy and powerful. Right now their consumer base is uh, very nervous with all the bad publicity that's happening for my grandson, for my son, and I've come in to sort of sort everything out. This is kind of a double whammy here in that not only do they have the desire to destroy people, they have the societal standing to get away with it. They have the power to bend situations, and, and they're doing that. Well, he's a pretty clever dude. I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think we're going to uh, knock him off balance quite so easily as she might suspect. They need to be stopped, and so that's what we're doing. David Caruso says having Raquel brings a special sexy flair to the set. Miss Welch is very powerful. I defy you to stand near her and not feel that power. It's not going to be possible. She has cast a very interesting spell on us all, as uh, Mrs. Navarro would do. I'm just having a great time with it. And I, I love the show and uh, the way that uh, uh, David Caruso plays his character, all the beautiful women and the very macho men. So I was really excited to kind of join in the fun, so to speak. Although the two leaders often spar, there's another type of tension that's very evident between them. There's a really strange, almost courtship happening with she and Horatio, which probably shouldn't be taking place, but it's a testament to the power of what she brings. Staying for lunch. There are not too many men that could stand in her sphere and resist her, she's powerful. For Raquel, the future looks good for more bad girl roles down the line. Yes, this might start a whole rash of really horrible people I can play. Vina Navarro. Holy. <laughs>